President Biden is trying to bounce back from his debate performance last night, and he's doing so by holding a rally in front of a crowd who is very fired up for four more years of Joe Biden. Let's watch this clip of what President Biden had to say about his debate performance last night. Let me close with this. I know I'm not a young man. State the obvious. Well, I know. as easy as I used to. I don't speak as smoothly as I used to. I don't deba debate as well as I used to. But I know what I do know. I know how to tell the truth. I know. I know. I know right from wrong. <laughs> and I know how to do this job. I know how to get things done. I know, like millions of Americans know, when you get knocked down, you get back up. I know what it took to take our economy from the depths of pandemic <laughs> to where it is today, the strongest economy in the world. I know what it'll take to bring this economy to everybody. I know it'll take to rally the world to stand up against Putin and defend freedom, not yield to him. And I know it'll take to keep the world safe and free for the years ahead. Folks, I give you my word as a Biden, I would not be running again if I didn't believe with all my heart and soul I can do this job. Because quite frankly, the stakes are too high. The stakes are too high. I don't really know how to look at the debate performance. You know, a, a lot of pundits and, and analysts were coming out saying it, it wasn't anything special. It was, uh, it was causing worry in the Democratic Party, which is uh, a, a little bit of an overreaction. It was a very awkward uh, debate kind of setting. Uh, no one in the audience, and if you know anything about President Biden and Donald Trump, they both really like to have crowds uh, who, who are fired up. They really feed off that energy. But I do think that President Biden, uh, Donald Trump got in his mind a little bit. And, and, you know, with conservative media all being so focused and all just using the same talking points. You know, once Donald Trump and his family started saying, oh, well, Joe Biden needs a drug test, I think that kind of, uh, you know, and then, and then, of course, conservative media all went with that, right, because that's what they do. Uh, I think that kind of got into the Biden's team's uh, mind a little bit. Now, I also think that President Biden was kind of just taking it easy here. Uh, he knows that this isn't the last debate. Uh, he knows that the most important debate is going to be the one directly before the election. That's where you get to wipe America's memory of any debate performances like this. Uh, you know, it's a clean slate. And also, I think he's setting Donald Trump up so that Donald Trump in the next few debates will just think that he, he's the king, right? That's what he wants to be. Uh, and, and President Biden is going to come out firing like his State of the Union speech which that's another important thing to remember, is that he was so fantastic during the State of the Union that everybody had just incredibly high hopes for this debate. And when he just didn't meet it, uh, it was, you know, half the pundits screaming about, ah, what do we do now? Who, who should we run in, in place of Joe Biden? Which, again, is, is a, an overreaction. So uh, I think... He's going to get stronger as we approach uh, Election Day, and I've been saying it for a while now. He's going to wipe the floor with the criminal Donald Trump. 
Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Thanks for watching. My name is Brendan Plank with Reflect on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already. And let me know what your reflections are of the debate and Joe Biden's rally today in the comments. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next video.